Hey everybody, Gunnison Undercover here. Today is Sunday, January 12, 2020. I am down here at the Fisherman's Beach parking lot in Union Beach, New Jersey. And right now I'm looking at the water in New York City. The wind is blowing like crazy, but it is warm out. It's like in the upper 60s right now. I'll take it. Any day that's warm, I'll take it. Better than cold weather. So we got a story here. It's actually two stories and they work together. So it was a report the other day. We have a judge here in Monmouth County that got caught. Uh, well, yeah, he's a Monmouth County judge. He got caught uh, fixing tickets in such a way that it was generating money for the town. So this, this judge was a revenue generator. And this was reported in the Asbury Park Press. And it's titled, ex-judge begs New Jersey top court not to disbar him. Well, he should be disbarred. He's crooked. We don't need crooked judges on the bench. So I'll just read some of it. It says, a former Monmouth County Municipal Judge offered varying explanations for running a scheme to rake in extra revenue for towns he worked for as he appeared before the state Supreme Court Tuesday to argue that his law license should not be revoked. Judge Richard B. Thompson pleaded guilty to fourth-degree falsifying records in February 2018 after authorities accused him of baselessly baselessly converting about 4,000 motor vehicle ticket fines into fines for contempt of court to maximize revenue for towns. Revenue from motor vehicle fines is split evenly between municipalities and the county. But contempt of court proceeds are given entirely to the towns. Appearing before the Supreme Court, which is considering whether this bar Thompson initially defended his actions, saying the contempt of court fines were meant to hold Defendants accountable. Let me go here to this page 6a Wherever that might be. Let's see real quick oh. This is failing to appear in court and we're not about filing town filling town coffers Tom said he never had discussions with township officials who appoint municipal court judges about using the courts for a town's financial gain. Yeah, we like we're gonna believe that one. That's bullcrap. Revenue was never ever promised to anyone. He said I didn't need to raise revenue to keep my job. Yes, you did. But under persistent questioning from justices. Thompson conceded as he had in court when he pleaded guilty in a criminal case that money was a factor in driving the scheme. Of course it is. Now, I'm going to get on to the next subject, which ties into this. It's just more evidence that motor vehicle tickets, municipal court is nothing more than a revenue generating machine, and they use the police to generate this revenue. Now, what I have right here, this right here is the Homedale Township, that's Homedale Township, New Jersey's municipal budget for 2019, municipal data sheet 2019. Okay, so I go over here to a page that's called Anticipated Revenues. There it is right there. Can you see it on the camera? And you go down the line items here. This is anticipated revenue. This is money they believe they're going to be getting in. Now, it comes down to... Uh, oh, excuse me. Until, fines and costs. That's the line item. Fines and costs. Municipal court. They anticipate for 2019 that they will bring in 525 thousand dollars five hundred twenty five thousand dollars in 2018 the municipal court brought in six hundred seventy five well they anticipated six hundred seventy five thousand uh, dollars in fines they realized cash in 2018 five hundred thirty thousand eight hundred uh, five hundred thirty eight hundred uh, oh geez Five hundred thirty thousand eight hundred twenty-eight dollars and sixty-two cents. So, in 2018, they thought they're going to bring in six hundred seventy-five thousand dollars, when in fact they only brought in 
almost $531,000. So my point being is that when they have this budget and they anticipate bringing in X amount of dollars, in this case, say, they anticipate this year $525,000 and they're falling a little short on that money, don't think for one second that the borough administrator does not call up the chief of police and say, hey, chief, you need to step it up. We need that revenue. Because budgets are based on this, they anticipate this revenue come in and they're budgeting things under that. And when that doesn't when they don't reach that goal, that's a problem. So now they got to use the police department to steal money from you because they can't go back and collect more taxes off your property. They can't do that. So the one variable factor that they have that they can rely on to bring in money is motor vehicle revenue enforcement. Has nothing to do about safety, people. Absolutely nothing to do with safety. I can tell you just from talking about Homedale Township, that every day they're at the same spots, profiting off the same problem every day. They're not interested in fixing the problem. They are only interested in profiting off the problem because the towns are addicted to this money. They need the money. They use the police officers to generate the money, and then they further continue it by using the municipal judge who does everything in their power to try to implement fines. And don't think for one second, if that judge was not bringing in revenue and was, and was operating that court with empathy and fairness, you think that judge get his contract renewed? Probably not. And this judge in this case here is Judge Thompson. He needs to lose his lawyer license and uh, quite frankly, I think he needs to be brought up on charges of extortion, uh, lying, falsifying records, uh, What's that other one when you don't uh, act uh, uh, official corruption there? The guy needs to go to jail. Simple as that. But here you go. More proof. I just gave you two, uh, two uh, examples right there. A municipal judge stealing money from people, changing things around to generate more revenue. You got Homedale Township police, uh, court, uh, municipality there that anticipates $525,000 in court fines. And we know for a fact that... Homedale Township uses their police every day to generate revenue. Now, I'm not targeting Homedale in this. I'm just pointing it out. There are other towns like Wall Township that their police behave like pirates constantly. All right, let me know what you think about this uh, in the comment section. Like, share, subscribe. Keep getting the word out here. We're going to keep talking about these corrupt officials, these corrupt cops, these bad cops. Once in a while, you know, we get a good cop story, throw it in there. But I do find that most of you are just not interested in the good cop stories. They, they don't seem to get the numbers like the bad cop stories get. I guess that's just the way it is. Till next time, people. I am Gunnison Undercover.